My name is Lisa, and I work as an office clerk in a small to medium-sized company. Currently, I am engaged to my boyfriend, Mark, and on this day, we are going to meet my parents to announce our engagement. Welcome, Lisa. We've been waiting for you. Oh, so this is the rumored fiancé, huh? Yes, let me introduce him. This is my fiancé, Mark. Nice to meet you. I've been getting along well with Lisa. Haha, -ha. there's no need to be so formal. Yes, we've been looking forward to you two coming. Please come in. Thank you. Phew, I'm relieved I was welcomed. See, I told you there's no need to be so nervous. No, no, telling me not to be nervous is unreasonable. Well, being nervous means you're serious about this. You're a good and earnest person, aren't you? You both. Could you hear me? Sorry, our house has great acoustics. You should have told me that in advance. In this way, we were relieved that my parents accepted our marriage with smiles. And when I reported it to my sister Carol by phone. Hello? What's up? It's rare for you to call, Lisa. Every time I call, you say the same thing, sis. Well, when you call out of the blue, it must be an emergency, right? So, I just want to say something fitting for the occasion. Something fitting, well, I guess it could be considered an emergency. So? What happened? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I've decided to get married, so I thought I should let you know. Oh. Congratulations, Lisa. So, it's not an emergency at all. It's a celebration, a celebration. Hey, bring your future husband over sometime. Introduce him, introduce him, and let's have a little celebration. Thank you, sis. Well, I'll take you up on that offer. In this way, we were invited to Carol's home, as she wanted me to introduce Mark. A few days later, when we visited with Mark. Oh, welcome, Lisa. So this is your future darling, huh? Yeah, his name is Mark. Be nice to him, okay? I'm Mark. Nice to meet you, sister-in-law. Haha, <laughs> such a polite and cute guy. You don't need to call me sister-in-law, just call me Carol. Uh, then, is it okay to call you? Carol? Hey, Lisa, where did you find such a serious guy? Hey, don't say something that sounds bad. Ha ha ha, no need for formal language. You can call me by my name, Mark. Ha, well, I'm happy to hear that, but it's a bit hard to do that all of a sudden. What, you can't do it on your first try? Then, we need to see you more often. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm glad you two are getting along. Wait, Lisa, are you serious? Wait, are you saying we aren't getting along? Ah. No, I guess we're pretty tight now, right? Oh, good, good, you're pretty slick. In this way, Mark and Carol seemed to hit it off right away, which was a relief. However, from this day on, Carol started inviting us more frequently. Sis, we're intruding again. Hey, Carol, we're back again. Oh, Mark, I've been waiting. Ha ha, as much as I appreciate it, hugging is a bit too much. Huh? What are you talking about? I know you're really happy. Bah! Stop it! At first, I thought it was just my imagination, but as we spent more and more time together, I started to feel uncomfortable with how close Mark and Carol seemed to be. Then, one day after leaving Carol's house, we entered a nearby restaurant for dinner. Man, Lisa, your sister is really great. Yeah. It seems like my sister quite likes you too. She's fun and easy to talk to. I wish I had a sister like her. Oops, sorry, I got a call from work. I'll be right back. Okay, huh? Mark left his bag unzipped. I should close it for him, huh? This is a marriage registration form. We agreed to fill it out and submit it after the wedding. What? Why is my sister's name in the wife tobe section? A, and Mark's name. Their signatures are on it too, what does this mean? Could it be? Mark and my sister are having an affair. That can't be. I trusted them, why? Sorry about that. Got caught up in a call from a co-worker. Ah, uh, welcome back. Hmm, what's wrong? You seem a bit off. Nothing's wrong. Oh, I need to go to the restroom, I'll be right back. All right, I'll start eating then. Shockingly, inside Mark's bag was a completed marriage registration form filled out and signed by Mark and Carol. Outraged by their betrayal, 
I decided to execute a certain plan. A few weeks later. Hey Lisa, I don't mind at all, but why suddenly suggest going out just the two of us? What's up? Something happen? You'll understand when you get there. I mean, understand, but why are we at the city hall? Are we hanging out with a civil servant? Did some service I don't know about start while I wasn't looking? Oh, Lisa. You've stopped and gone quiet, what's wrong? Congratulations on your marriage to Mark, sis. Huh? What? What's with the sudden, I don't understand? Oh, wait, is this some kind of surprise? Are cameras rolling? Uh, well, if that's the case, you got me. Man, I'm really surprised. Going out is fine, but things bad for the heart like this, you should moderate. Sis, do you recognize this? Ah. Uh, no way. Why do you have that marriage registration form? No, no, that's part of the prank, right? Wow, this is hardcore. Why go to the extent of writing my name? Seriously, if this is all just a prank, am I your toy or something? Sis, why can't you take your eyes off the paper? Look closely, this handwriting isn't mine, right? The seals too, they're the real ones. Do you really think this is a prank? Ah, uh, well, that is, um, ah. Uh. On this day, I took Carol to the nearby city hall, and there, I celebrated Mark and Carol's marriage. Carol initially played dumb, but her face progressively turned pale as I showed her the marriage certificate. Then, there. Ah, found you. Hey Lisa, why are you here at such a place? Carol. Hey Carol, Mark, what on earth is going on here? Why were we called here because of you two? Ugh. Father and mother, and Mark too. Why are you three here? <laughs> I called them, because we have to celebrate together, right? What are you talking about? Why call them over something like this? If we get called, it would certainly be because you two are in trouble. I'm truly disappointed in you, Carol. Really? I thought we could trust Lisa to you, Mark. Wah, wait a minute you two. It's not like that with us. Lisa is playing an elaborate prank. That's right. Carol and I are not in that kind of relationship. Even I was surprised when I got called suddenly today. Um, Carol, you and Lisa's sister seem quite close, don't you? Carol, you seem dissatisfied with being called sister-in-law, don't you? That's not important at all. I was just thinking about what to do if we got a new family member. And besides, you should be more concerned about Lisa. She's been acting strange since earlier. Oh, sis, I'm perfectly normal, very much so, couldn't be more normal. Besides, it's a celebration today. Isn't it natural to be excited? Calm down, Lisa. What you're saying is all over the place. Really? But I think compared to this, it's not at all. Father, mother, please take a look at this marriage certificate. Mark and my sister are getting married. It's a joyous occasion, we must celebrate. So, this is the proof. I can't believe it. Why? Why do you have that? I found it in your bag when we had dinner the other day. We were supposed to fill it out and submit it together, but something seemed off, and when I looked, your and my sister's names were written there. Strange, isn't it? Ah, uh, Lisa, that's why I've been saying you're scary since earlier. Hey, sis, isn't this undeniable proof of an affair? I don't know why you'd leave it carelessly in your bag while you were with me. But this means that, doesn't it? Hey, aren't you going to say something? Hey. So, as I confronted Mark and Carol about their affair. Sigh. Seems like there's no way out of this. Mark, you screwed up, didn't you? My bad, I let my guard down when I got a call out of the blue. That's an admission, right? Yeah, I admit it. Mark's mine now, not yours, Lisa. I'm sorry, Lisa. I've sworn to spend the rest of my life with Carol. Stop messing around. You can't just shrug this off. To do such a thing. Betraying your family. What were you thinking? Don't you get it? It's all about the feeling, the feeling. Something just clicked between Mark and me. Haha, <laughs> I never thought I'd come to believe in the idea of a soulmate. I have no lingering feelings or regrets for Mark anymore. The documents are signed and all. You two should just go ahead and marry each other. And with that said, 
I'll be demanding compensation for the broken engagement from the two of you. Please prepare to pay. Compensation? And who the heck are you, popping out of nowhere like this? He's my childhood friend and a lawyer, Noah. We've already discussed this matter, and I've given him the evidence. Even if you try to escape responsibility, it won't work. Audio data. When did you? You two were way too close. It would be odd not to suspect something. It seems you were openly talking about things like breaking up with Lisa and losing interest in her. You even exchanged contact information, it seems. And Carol, you even said that you wanted the family to celebrate if you ended up with Mark, didn't you? Lisa was worried about your marriage, you know, and to think the person in question would ruin that kindness. Inforgivable. So, when did you start? When did you start suspecting us? Are you curious? You must be wondering when exactly you were checkmated. At first, it was just a small anxiety and suspicion. So I started recording to dispel it. The reason why I was visiting your house every week was to gather more solid evidence. You let us go on, so you've known for a while. When I heard the audio, I couldn't believe it, I doubted my ears, and above all, I didn't want to believe it. But after I found this marriage registration, the way I looked at Mark changed. When you were with Carol, when I told you that you could meet, you were clearly so happy, so smitten. You never showed such a face when you were with me. As I shouted out my feelings, Mark flinched and took a step back. Then, Carol. Hold on a minute, are you saying you set us up? No matter how you look at it, that's not right. We're just normal sisters, aren't we? You're the one who betrayed us first. Why are we the only ones who have to be the bad guys here? The act of recording, as done this time, is not legally prohibited. As long as you didn't break in or threaten someone before or after, you can't be charged with the crime. It then depends on how the judge feels about the evidence. But currently, there's no problem with this either. Wah, what? With this, we can't even talk carelessly. It's the same as the internet. You should never say anything bad at any time. Because you never know who might be listening from where. Well, either way, payment of compensation is confirmed. Be prepared. Wait, I'm sorry. I apologize, so please spare me the compensation. Mark is saying this. I'm sorry, please forgive us. What are you saying? There's no way I would forgive you. After you boldly brushed off everything, don't you feel any shame? Don't you guys think it's okay to do anything as long as it benefits you? Didn't I say that the compensation is confirmed? I don't sense anything from your apology that could overturn that decision. Sister, I'll give you this dreadful piece of paper. So please, both of you, stay out of my life. And don't you dare try to have anything to do with us either. If you come to our house, we'll do whatever it takes to kick you out. What's that? Is that really necessary? All right, Lisa, let's get back together. If we go back to the way we were, everything will be solved, right? Thinking you can come back to me when it comes to money is too lame. Regardless, I have no intention of reconciling with you. You should just live happily with Carol. What? Hey, what's that about? What was that just now? What can I do about it? At this rate, I'll end up in debt. Huh? You're a man, aren't you? Deal with a debt or two. After I refused Mark, who was for some reason pressing me for a reconciliation, he and Carol started arguing. I can't believe I was manipulated by someone like this. It's starting to feel ridiculous. That's right. It's best to quickly forget about such people. Yes, let's eat something delicious on the way home. Hey, Lisa, wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? If things stay as they are, we're in trouble. Do something before you leave. Hey, don't get any closer to Lisa. I'll double the amount of the damages. Double? That's impossible. My life will be uphill from now on. Please, help me. I'll do anything. So, please, give me some relief. That's what I'm saying, so please do something. If you're willing to do anything, why not just quietly pay the damages? I don't mind if you pay the full amount even if I double it. And never approach our family again. Congratulations on your marriage, both of you. Anne, goodbye. Forever, I doubt we'll ever meet again. 
Ah, wait, don't go. There's nothing we can do about this. And so, we left Mark and Carol behind. Afterwards, I demanded damages from the two of them, which were fully paid off by them both going into debt. Mark, who was trying to work hard to deal with the debt, ended up voluntarily resigning because rumors of his broken engagement had spread at the company and he became a target of criticism. Carol tried to work hard to help Mark in some way, but the situation didn't improve. And when Carol visited her parents for help, she was turned away at the doorstep. Thus, Mark and Carol, burdened with debt they could not foresee repaying, ended up living a harsh daily life full of work, unlike what one would expect for newlyweds. As for me… It feels like it's been a while since I had a meal with Lisa like this. Yes, it's been quite some time since our reunion, hasn't it? Ah, uh, it's been a while, but it doesn't feel like it. What do you mean? You just said it's been a while. Yeah, I know, but talking like this, it feels like it was just yesterday. When you put it that way, it might be true. Somehow, my perception of time has become strange as I've gotten older. Now that you mention it, each year does seem to feel shorter. Just when I thought winter was over, it's suddenly summer. One moment I thought it was Christmas, and now it feels like the year's already ending. Isn't that a bit of an exaggeration? I don't really want to hear that from someone who just skipped half a year. Hey, haha, I really don't feel like it's been that long since we last met. Yes, let's have dinner like this again sometime. Since then, I ended up going to dinner with Noah for various reasons. Initially, it seemed like he was trying to support me, but we never ended up discussing anything of the sort. We simply had a fun meal together. I think he was probably helping me to get back to my normal life. We've agreed to have meals together like this from time to time, so I'm looking forward to enjoying these pleasant times. And that's how I started to enjoy my time with my kind and compatible childhood friend.